Morning guys, uh, Sunday morning here in South Africa. We're here in Drakensberg at the Champagne Sports Resort. Just checked out and we've now got a four and a half hour-ish drive to San Lemire, which is about an hour south of Durban. Uh, this is one of Richard's favorite courses in South Africa, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I do know the course was hit with a bit of bad weather recently. There was some pretty bad flooding, but I, we were on the phone to the golf course yesterday and it seems like they've recovered. Buggies are allowed back on the course, so all looks well and looking forward to seeing it. So yeah, hitting the road, eating up the miles here in KwaZulu Natal. Ready boys? Ready. Another Ready road trip. Road. Ready yeah. to hit the road and get down there. Right, steaming out of Drakensberg, um, heading towards San Lemire. We've got about a four and a half hour drive. But just before we leave this amazing slice of land here in South Africa. Um, I was doing some reading up last night and essentially it seems that this place is kind of like a massive uh, country scape for people in South Africa in this part of the world. Is that about right, Jason? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's national parks on national parks. Um, people come here from Natal, from uh, Johannesburg, from Cape Town. Yeah. Um, it's there's incredible scenery around here and um, yeah, a couple of things worth visiting would be Giant's Castle, um, which is one of the reserves, um, and as well for, you know, some records, uh, Tugela Waterfalls uh, is here, and that's it's the second highest in the world. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it's wow. spectacular, it's, it's absolutely enormous, I mean, it's just shy of a kilometre high. So as well as all those national parks and natural beauty spots, mm. um, I was reading up and it looked pretty much like the kind of place where you escape the stresses and strains of everyday life and come and do some fly fishing, some horse riding, mountain biking, walk some mountain trails, get away from it all basically in this spectacular place. That is what they're good at doing, it's it's basically... And you grew up here, the walk near here, and you kind of did that on your family holidays, didn't you? I did, yeah. So school trips were up here, um, family holidays, um, you know, any excuse to get up here. You know, we come up a couple of times a year, um, friends, families, and, and you know, one thing that highlights that at uh, Champagne was, you know, 100 plus villas there with families, you know, going up to, you know, get away from everything and, and just spend time together. Cool. Right, well... I'm going to plug myself in and start doing some editing. We'll see you guys soon on the other end of this, what, what I'm guessing is going to be quite a nice road trip. There it is, Ross. Indian Ocean. We are back. So we're we south coast-ish now? We are south, south coast. coast. There she is. Plenty of sharks in there. Indian Ocean. How far out are we now from the golf course? About an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Yeah. And we're making and decent time. I've plugged in, I've not been listening to anything that's going on. What, what's this food situation? <laughs> we are stopping in um, at the African version of uh, McDonald's called Steers. Okay, so high class affair. <laughs> so we're, I mean, it's South African, so it's always going to be better. Um, so Steers <laughs> do some sensationally tasty flame grilled burgers with okay. some special salt which goes on the fries so Amazing. a trip down memory lane here for Tidders and I. Excellent, well I'm starving so put that pedal to the metal brother. We're <laughs> on there, let's go. <laughs> it's not a bad view from a petrol station is it Rawls? No, it's not too bad at all. Life is good. Feed me, Mr. Launder. Salt's in there. arrived at our next stop, um, San Lemire Golf Course. It's on the south coast, so a couple of hours south of Durban. Uh, I'm going to show you this amazing golf course. I don't really know anything about it, but Tidders absolutely loves it. As he said, ladies European tour host, I'm sure it's pretty decent. 
and as we make our way around the course I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit what the south coast has to offer both obviously on the golf course and away from the fairways as well oh lovely 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 yeah, uh, there were a couple of places in the room. Oh, stop it, Sam Lemire. Oh. Finally getting recognised for what the word exactly. was. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, right. you're gonna fix me. Treats, yes no, please. You're gonna fix me. <laughs> I think we've got even more treats in the back of the buggies. Oh, cheers. Stop it. Thank you very much, San Lemire. Right, go time at San Lemire. We're on the first tee and we're joined by Verno, who's a assistant professional. Assistant professional. You're in probation period, right? So he's obviously gonna be on his best behavior because it's all gonna be documented. <laughs> we're gonna go. What's the teams? South versus North. South versus North. Hemispheres collide. And someone's got a floating handicap. Yeah. Someone else has got a floating Very handicap. Floating. Someone else has got an actual handicap, which apparently is fake according to the internet. So we're each taking seven shots and young man here is giving us all. Yep, some charity. very generous. So, I'm going to show you guys around this golf course as we make our way around. We are struggling for light because we've pitched up a little bit late. We had a long drive down from Champagne Golf Resort. So, we're just going to play as many holes as we can get in, really, and show you guys what this place is all about. Yes, he's going to fit right in in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Tiddos! Alright, that was a lot. Oh, that's great effort. Raining. Northern Hemisphere, one up. Well done, Mr. Tidman. See, so, yeah, as I said, we're right on the south coast region here and yeah, look at that. Unbelievable scenery all around. Banana plantations out there. Gorgeous coastline to the left. This is spectacular. So one of the first things to note about the south coast region down here is the concentration of golf courses. According to Jason who grew up in this area there are just an absolute ton of them. A lot of very very good ones as well. This is one of the nicest. So for, I'd, I'd imagine a lot of the people who tune into this channel do it primarily for the golf. So anyone coming down this neck of the woods just south of Durban you are spoiled for choice. <laughs> right, we've got the local greenkeepers here who I'm not sure realise how much danger they're in with me around. But, yeah, this is another TIA moment. This is Africa. Absolutely amazing. Great strike, Tidders. Tell you what, that's got a chance. Oh, go in. Oh, that's got a chop. Oh, what a shot. Yeah! <laughs> like he's back in the casino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Yeah! <laughs> so, unfortunately, one of the magnificent beasts they got here in Africa that we didn't get to see on the safari tours we've been on so far is a Nile crocodile. Um, but 
here on the south coast, we actually passed it on the way in a place called Crocodile Land, and you can see a population of over 200 Nile crocodiles. And as you'll all know if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I like the, spotting the old gator when I'm in South Carolina in America, but these bad boys, I would think, put the American alligator to shame when it comes to size. They also have some of the most deadly snakes in Africa over there, so you can go down there, learn about these amazing creatures. It's definitely something you should be doing if you're coming down to the south coast, just south of Durban. Yeah, we're hiding, mate. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, he's over the hill next to a route, so this could go anywhere. Oh my god. Good shot. Yeah, good shot to be fair. Shot in. It was still terrifying though. So as you can see behind me, the southern coast region is also, as you'd imagine by the name, bang on the coastline. So not only are there great beaches for anyone who loves a bit of lounging in the sun with the sea lapping at your feet, um, obviously you can also do water sports. So any water sport enthusiast who fancy mixing a bit of golf, a bit of amazing South African culture, and a bit of water sports, south coast area would be right up your alley. Just getting a little bit dark here at San Lemir. Um, it's coming towards the end of the day. As I said, we started late because of a bit of traffic earlier on. But another absolutely gorgeous hole behind me. And just before I go up to the green to take my putt, I think I'm putting anyway, I'm gonna talk about another thing you can do down by the coast, which isn't unique to South Africa, uh, but it is one of the best locations in the world to do this. And that is a little bit of cage diving with great whites. Uh, obviously, not everyone's cup of tea to be getting into the water with those beasts, but I've done it myself over on the other side of Africa, and I can tell you from personal experience, one of the most exciting things I've ever done. It is kind of scary at the start, but then you get a bit more comfortable with it, and it's just amazing seeing those guys down underwater in their natural habitat where you're totally out of your comfort zone. So, if you've got the minerals for it, as they would say in, uh, in Snatch or Lockstock, I would totally be doing that on a trip to South Africa if it was an option. But obviously that's up to you guys. Just in the San Lemire Clubhouse, 14 holes completed in the end, which is actually more than we thought we might get. And we're coming in here to sample a local delicacy called bunny chow. Now I've been hearing about this all week and basically I think or I understand it's curry of any description kind of served in a loaf of bread. Quite how that works I don't know but we're about to find out. Thank you. What is this magic? This is heaven. This is a bunny chow. Curry in a bread bun. So it's a mutton bunny chow. This is a bit of a custom one, so a little bit smaller, but normally it's like half a loaf of bread and um, they take the insides out, fill it with curry, and then it's capped with the inside which come out. Serve the sambals, which is just um, a bit of greenery for decoration. <laughs> and this is a small one. It looks like a meal to me. This is a baby one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not too bad a spot to wake up in, right? So our time here at Saint Lemaire has come to an end. Again, like lots of the other venues, less than 24 hours after we checked in. 
Awesome hotel room, by the way, as well. Lovely. Got an earliest tea time at a golf course called Wild Coast in about an hour and a half from now. So we're going to hit the road, get going, see more of the south coast region down here, just south of Durban, uh, which, as far as I can tell, is fairly similar to Drakensberg, but completely different. So it's very much an R&R &R leisure type location. You're coming down here to take a load off, relax and unwind, play some golf on some golf courses who look completely different to some of the other locations we've experienced so far. As you can see, Drakensberg was up in the mountains, very much a country retreat, whereas this is obviously down near the coast and very much beach life and golf courses, which are very much defined by being located right by the sea. So hopefully you enjoyed the videos here from San Lemire. Um, as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the Your Golf Travel channel if you want to see any more of the action coming up from South Africa. Whew, it's been a whirlwind tour, but I'm excited to keep it going because we're here for basically another week. See you guys soon from Wild Coast.